Hello, my name is Mike Fromm, Applications Engineer for Applied Engineering. I'm going to be showing you an exciting new workflow for manufacturers of products that go inside and outside of buildings. The other day, my friend Ted Mosby, the architect, called me up and said, Hey Mike, I'm designing this new building with some sunshades on it. Do you think this is something you can do? So I looked on his website with Project Free Will, and uh, I said, You know what, Ted? This is something I think I can do. So I, I went into my inventor program, and... Uh, designed up a, a, a sunshade and when I was designing this I said you know what I know Ted he's an architect he likes to change his mind why not use inventors iLogic program to make it so I can actually quickly and easily change the length color and material of this sunshade uh, so I can go back and forth and make sure this is exactly what he wants now once I was in the middle of the design I decided you know what I think I need to add some lights to this you can see there I added some solar panels, which is the dark black. Um, and so to go along with this, I wanted to add some lights. I came in, edited the part. I'm going to use that iLogic tool again to make it so when I make the change to the length, these holes are actually going to automatically update with the changes to the length of the shade. So once I made a new rule, I go back to my parameters, make a change to the length, and you're going to notice that it automatically updated that whole cutout. To go along with this, I'm going to add in a new light that I've added and uh, make it in the same process I did with the cutouts so that when I make changes again to the length, the lights are going to update as well. Now, this iLogic program is very useful um, when you're designing components inside an assembly. You wouldn't necessarily have to design a whole assembly with iLogic, but intricate details of a project that might have uh, subject to change, this is a very good tool for that. Now, once I've uh, created this next rule to make it so those lights automatically update with the length, I'm going to add a new parameter in here, and I'm going to call it time of day. And by this, what I mean is I came up with this idea so that when the time changes throughout the day, the actual solar panels on the sunshade are going to rotate. And when they rotate, it's going to grab the best, uh, or it's going to be rotating to the best angle for the light to be captured. Now along with this, I, I want at night these lights to turn on. So I'm going to go back into my iLogic program and uh, create another rule. And this rule is going to make it so uh, during time of different days, sun panels are going to change. Also, again, the lights are going to turn on. And I want to do this so I can convey my idea uh, to the architect just so he knows what's going to happen. So once I made that rule, I'm going to go back to the parameter. You can see as I change this, uh, notice the solar shades are rotating. Also, when I hit night there, those lights light up. Very nice. This is going to work great. Now, I went over to Ted's office and I brought my computer and I opened up Showcase and I said, Ted, Ted, this is my idea. I was able to quickly run through a couple different ideas as far as colors. Uh, along with this, you can notice that Showcase actually projects the shades. Uh, so you can see when I rotate it through my different angles throughout the day, you can see how that's going to adjust um, the light that's going through. Now, in Inventor, you saw that I put on the different lights. So in Showcase, we're going to test that out too. Uh, you can see I can turn it on and off. You know, this isn't the grace in the light, so why not turn it into a dark environment? Uh, that's a little bit better. And, and now I'm going to go back and forth with them. And he says, you know what, Mike? I really like those lights. Let's, let's keep those. Now, once I have this done, uh, I go back to Inventor. And, you know, Ted, he's an architect, and he actually has... Autodesk Revit program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink wrap this. What that does is it takes just the outside surface of my product. So uh, Ted's going to use my product in his design, but it's not going to be easily copied by somebody else. And uh, I'm going to publish this using my AC exchange tool. So this comes in, uh, puts in all the parameters that Revit uses uh, to insert a model. And I'm putting all that information in an in inventor so that I save it in the ADSK format. And then you can see here, Ted opens it up in Revit, goes into his, uh, loads up his family, grabs that file that I created, and now he's in Revit inserting my solar shade that I've created in Inventor. Uh, once he places this here, he's just going to kind of move it into the position that he wants it to be. And what you're going to see is how quickly it will go back and forth between an engineer like myself using Inventor and Ted, who's an architect, using Autodesk Revit. So that all I'm using everything here is Autodesk programs, and I'm just going back and forth, uh, creating a nice workflow to make sure that we actually create the right product for this building. 
Now that we've uh, seen a couple different angles, you know, let's open up another out of this program called Navisworks. Um, you can see here it's another 3D view, but you know what? I want to get a different perspective of this building, and uh, I think it would be a good idea to maybe see what's going to look like from a person's view. So I'm going to stay on this balcony here from the outside, and uh, let's look up at that solar shade. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Um, you know, but that's from the outside of my bed balcony here. Um, Navisworks actually allows me to walk through the building and I can do some collision detections, you know, make sure everything mates up properly. But I can also, you know, walk up these stairs and take a look out this window and see what this is going to look like from outside the window, you know. So I want to make sure this is actually nice, appealing. This is not going to be an eyesore. You know, this looks very nice. Uh, I'm going to just kind of move around a little bit more here. You know, that was a solar shade upon the front. Let's walk through the building again and uh, take a look at what the solar shade is going to look like on the back of the building. So again, using Navisworks, I'm able just to, to walk through the building here, um, check out all the different views of these uh, solar shades that I've inserted onto a building. You know, now that I think this is good, I'm actually going to go back to that showcase program uh, that I had opened earlier and, and take a look at this building from the outside. Now, while this is rotating, I want to mention that this workflow is very important because it allows us to have an architect design with my engineering product. Also, the communicational bi-directional, going back and forth between the architect, you know, if this wasn't big enough, I can make a newer one, publish it, he can open it. But also, there's tools like Autodesk Seek that allows me to publish my design to a library that anybody can grab. So on this new Autodesk Seek program, you can see here, uh, if I was a manufacturer, I can just publish it, put my different formats, and then engineers and architects can actually use my product in their design.